if you've installed a plugin into your Bubble app that needs to communicate with other visual elements you've designed on your page by ID, here's the setting that you need to turn on to make this happen. Go into your editor's general settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see an advanced settings section there, and check the box that helps you expose the ID attribute for your visual elements. Now you have the ability to give your visual elements a custom ID. If you open up the property editor for like a group or an input, for example, go to the bottom of the appearance tab, you're gonna see an ID attribute field. You can type in whatever ID you want there. Now for plugins such as screenshotting plugins that need to reference you know, the page or certain groups, um, images or whatever element you wanna screenshot or the uh, search and autocorrect plugin so that it can communicate with a specific input. As long as the ID matches on both sides, you're good to go.